Hi everybody, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer and here's another game. Uh, this game is from the 70s. Um, it was sold in places like Crocs and Brentano's, uh, which was kind of a fancy stationery bookstore, a little bit of everything in games in the basement. Um, it is the Great Downhill Ski Game. So it's kind of like one of those specialty games, but actually it's a really fun game. Um, it's The rules are in French, German, and English. So um, it's an exciting game for beginners, intermediates, and experts of all ages. Fun for non-skiers too. Basically you have these little tiles and this is your board and your board is rolled up in this tube. I, I would have preferred it not to be rolled up in the tube, but it's okay. Um, because uh, I, I didn't want it to break and fall apart, which it was starting to do and then I had to kind of laminate it. So right now it's doing pretty good laminated. All right, the goal of this game is to go skiing down to the bottom. And you have these little cards that have different parts of the ski path and you can put them together. So you need to find the right cards that will take you around the trees to get all the way down to the bottom of the hill. It's really a fun game. It's 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 not a spin the spinner game or anything. But it's, it's a good game for adults to play, I find. And I, I was a kid when I played it, so it was good for me, too. Um, let's see. If you find the English directions. Object to ski from top to bottom of mountain using trail tiles while scoring the highest number of points. Reroll playing service around the tube to straighten. Um, this is a new plastic material that cannot tear and could be wiped clean with a damp cloth. Well, I hate to tell them, but it actually could tear because I did have a tear spot in it. So after all these years, yeah, it could tear. Um, place all the trail tiles face down. Each player takes 10 tiles, places them face up in front of them. You start your, your trail with the tile. Um, you can connect them from either side to side or corner to corner to make a continuous trail. And then uh, you ended up uh, for scoring 25 points to the first skier to complete the trail. And then you get a point or two points or three points or 10 points, uh, depending on which tiles you used. And that's how you find the, the winner of the game. And you can also do it for one, you can play a solitary game, which is how you know it's one of those kind of cool, funky kind of games from one of the Crocs and Brentano's stores, because you could play it solitary and it was kind of like a mind game thing, you know. You place all the trail tiles face down and you select 50 of them and the object is to ski a trail down the mountain using all 50 tiles. So there is a solitary aspect of the game. It was a fun game. I mean you can tell there's this family is really having a good time on the box playing and they've got their tiles zigzagging all around. So I don't know if you can find this game very often on eBay but it might be one that you want to do for maybe the holidays and, and pick some vintage games to play with your family. Um, they're more quali good quality and um, they're a lot of fun. So this is the Great Downhill Ski Game. I'm not sure who makes it, but in the inside it says this is a game for people who like to ski, people who have never skied, people in casts, people who like games, people who don't like games, people who are on ski vacations and have nothing to do at night, ha ha. People who see ski movies more than once, ski bums, ski instructors, ski nuts, people who like to give nice gifts, people who like to receive nice gifts, people who like to play solitaire, beginners, intermediates, experts, and liars, pets that like to chew up games. So that's all the people that like to play this game. So that's my highlight. Remember the great downhill ski game, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.